discussing the questions that we've gotten in from our viewers, and uh, and they're good ones. So, Maurice, I'm going to start with you. True mm -hmm. or false? This one is shampooing daily dries out your hair. Is that no, true? No, false. It's false. False. So, can you then Imagine, shampoo every day? Absolutely. Imagine going about your day without washing your face, brushing your teeth. Right. Well, it depends on the hair you're talking about well, because a lot of black thing. women it's are not scalp. washing you're their not, hair every day. You're not it's washing drier. Your hair. There are shampoos that are meant to just wash your scalp. Yeah. Very gentle shampoos, sulfate free shampoos that are just there to just cleanse and freshen up your scalp. Yeah. They don't really take out the, uh, the oils out of the, the hair. Okay, so sometimes it's not about the hair, sometimes it's about the scalp. It's always about the scalp. It's always about the scalp. Yes, absolutely. So, um, aren't there times though you're washing your hair because you just have that major buildup of product? Well, there is that, first yeah. of all, but like your skin, your face, you know, you sweat mm -hmm. during the day. And it's, it's so important. You need, you need to remove that sweat out of your scalp. Right, okay. Can all I right. add something to yeah, that? Yeah, go actually? for it. Curly hair, this is really important. Um, no matter your background, you don't want to wash your hair every day because mm -hmm. curly hair doesn't produce enough oil from the scalp. Yeah, that's so what I was So I wouldn't to. recommend to wash your hair every day in that case. However, if you are night clubbing ladies, wash your hair because it's going to smell on Sunday. Um, but, but yes, I mean, valid yeah. points, again, depending it depends on the on hair, the hair texture. texture. What yes. we don't want you to be is a habitual hair washer. So yes, if okay. your hair is dirty after one day of working in the garden, then wash your hair. Yeah. If a week later your hair still isn't dirty because you've just been Netflix Doing and chilling, <laughs> yeah. then you're, you're fine. fine. Yeah. That's right. Treat it on an, as an, uh, an ad hoc basis. I don't think I should have said that. I don't know. I liked it. it. Let's I kind of liked it. Out of it. It depends on what your Netflix flicks and chill was all about, That's though. True. You might need a wash after that. Anyway. <laughs> Bill, this one's for you. Myth, heat damage is only caused by hot tools. Most of the damage to your hair from, he from heat is from hot tools, flat irons, curling irons, cur uh, blow dryers. Yeah. The sun, people are, some people say the sun can do just as much damage. We don't live in that kind of climate. Right. If we lived in the Caribbean, if we lived in, you know, North Africa where the sun is intense and beating on your hair, mm -hmm. absolutely it will cause as much damage. But should you protect your hair in the sun if you're at the beach? Absolutely. Okay. You know, one of the best things you can do is take a little bit of conditioner. When you put your hair back in a ponytail to be on the beach, just run the conditioner through your hair to hold the ponytail in. Because it, it, it is a drying, it's the heat, it's the salt, it's all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. but it's it's not as bad as a flat iron okay. you know, or a curling iron or something like that. Yeah. All right, so good answer, guys. Can be bad too. Yeah. Yes. The worst thing is blow drying hair that's soaking wet. Mm. Pre-dry it with your hands yeah. first, 80 to 90 percent. Mm -hmm. Dry it almost 100 percent, and then you can finish it with a brush. Nice. The worst thing one can do is pull on that brush, and the hair is soaking the wet. Tension more There's than the heat sometimes. Because yeah. it's like an elastic when it's wet. Right. So therefore, you pull on it, you put that intense heat on it. What it does, it snaps. It will, okay, good know. advice, guys.